Israel followed the United States in attacking Syria. After the United States launched a dozen and a half strikes on the Iranian military base, in fact, erasing it, as can be seen from satellite images, Israel also joined the strikes on Syrian territory, firing at least eight missiles at Iranian facilities and warehouses with weapons and ammunition. The blow for the second time fell on the Syrian province of Tartus, despite the fact that the naval base of the Russian Navy is located on its territory, and the Russian military contingent was previously deployed. Attacks on Syrian territory were carried out by Israeli combat aircraft in the evening. Contrary to the statements of the Syrian military that most of the missiles were shot down, at least six missiles are known to have hit their targets on the territory of the Arab Republic. Among the targets were depots with Iranian missiles, as evidenced by the corresponding detonation of missiles at one of the military depots in the province of Tartus. The attack was extremely unexpected, since Israeli military aircraft often operate at night to avoid detection and minimize the chances of repelling an attack from Syrian air defense systems. Experts believe that Israeli strikes were carried out according to agreements with the United States, while a new serious escalation is expected, since earlier U.S. President Joe Biden signed an order to eliminate the Iranian threat in Syria.